Waiting for the investigators and the family. So for context, let's go live to Washington, D.C. Criminal profiler Pat Brown, who can give us some insight into this. Pat, but thanks for being with us this morning. Good morning, Lynn. You're also the author of the profiler, My Life Hunting Serial Killers and Psychopaths. This is sort of your um, background. If, in fact, there is any reason to believe that there was some sort of criminality involved, officials say they're following leads. We don't know what those yeah. are. What could they be? Well, they're keeping them very quiet because whenever you take a look at any investigation, you have to look at all the possibilities and you don't necessarily want to let all that information out. In this case, when I look at it, the, I see the police having to go back to the, the original moment in time where they, the family says the girl left the house. First, they have to prove that that is even true. They have to look at the family and see if their timeline makes sense, uh, whether the girl, little girl really did leave the house or something happened there. And then if they do feel that she left the house, they're going to be looking right in the neighborhood. Uh, possibly the ex-boyfriend. She had a 17-year-old boyfriend, which is a pretty bit, pretty old for a little 12-year-old Right, a 12-year-old, exactly. Thanks for pointing exactly. that out. Exactly. Which, kind of, which kind of leads us to think she has a lot of freedom and she may need the attention of older males. She doesn't have a biological father in her life. So she may be the type that is easily, you know, for an older guy to come up to her and, you know, use some kind of ploy or ruse and get her to come into his home or into his car. It may be very possible with a young girl who's very impressionable. So that's the next place they're going to be looking. It's fairly unusual for a serial killer, and this is going to sound strange to people, but serial killers like really, really skinny girls, real mm -hmm. thin girls. And this girl, she was five foot one, 145. I'm not saying she was no terribly overweight but she was a little pudgy and that actually is not what serial killers go for but that that kind of girl tends to like attention and uh, is easy to say you know you're a beautiful young girl come on over you know come on to my house let me talk to you uh, it's it's a she's a target for for older men to try to try to play her well, so Pat, we have to look at her personality and this is uh, this is every parent's worst nightmare you think to yourself right. okay you step back through every single uh, place she may have gone and apparently this was during the day and we've seen mm -hmm. this path that she took. There was only one area where she would have gone underground into sort of this bridge under underneath a, a roadway where she could have possibly been out of sight. Other than that, um, other than retracing her steps, what is the investigator's next, you know, lead? Well, one of the things they're going to do is they're going to look at that whole area that she could have gone through, and they're going to see whether there are times when there is no traffic, when there could be those down times where a predator could grab her. Mm -hmm. They don't see that. They are going to be looking closer at the fact that it might be somebody she knows, because this is the most likely possibility that she was, you know, she, she was gotten to the hands of someone who is known to her. So that's uh, that's my guess is where they're looking, but uh, they're going to look at all possibilities because they don't want to you know ignore something and then find out later that's where they should have been looking. All right, Pat, we appreciate it. And let's put Kaylee's picture up one more time just because the most important thing right now is just getting her face out there for anyone that may actually have any information. You can see there, you can call 1-800-CALL-FBI. Thank you so much, Pat. Okay, thanks, Lynn. Well, the government